It's not just soil, it's humusoil. Coming to a garden center near you. The Sustainable Green Team is a provider of environmentally conscious solutions in arbor care, disposal, and recycling industry. And with me is the Director of Administration of the Sustainable Green Team, Brian Rivera, and Brian Meyer, the Chief Operating Officer. So great to have you both here. So, uh, Brian, tell me about the sustainability and how SGTM plays a role in that. Sure. Uh, well, first of all, thank you for having us. Uh, and if I can just give a little bit of props to you and your team. Uh, you know, we are just so many companies are really being blessed by what you guys are doing. So thank you for that. Um, and sustainability is uh, a word that we're beginning to hear even more and more in industries. Everybody is looking for sustainability. Sustainability actually is the action or the approach to be able to preserve the well-being of communities and environments. I take that very to heart, if I can say I have two kids that uh, I love with all my heart. Everything I do, I try to really focus and concentrate on their future and what they're gonna do and the life that they're gonna live. And that's why I believe the Sustainable Green Team is so important and what we're doing in our company has such a great value because that is exactly what we're doing. We're taking uh, what many people would look as and waste something unusable, something that's gone, and creating a sustainable, rich product that is going to be for the communities and the environment. You know, there's, uh, I'm just thinking right now, off the top of my head, there's a show on TV that I, I love, I used to watch a lot, and something so interesting that they say in their introduction is that what many people see as junk, we see as value. And I believe that's what our company does exactly. Yeah. What many people see as waste that is being sent to landfills that is just no longer good, we are converting it into a sustainable product that has great value for communities and our environment. Yeah, I always remember how you guys were cleaning up after the hurricanes in Florida exactly. and, and trying to you know, reuse some of that yeah. debris that was there. So exactly. now, Brian, um, SGTM runs multiple locations. Uh, you have eight locations, right? Subsidiaries, 250 employees. Yes, ma'am. Um, so you're the chief operating officer. How do you kind of manage all of that? Well, it's pretty, pretty interesting as we do have eight, eight facilities. Each one of those facilities are, are unique in their own set. Um, we have different feedstock, different manufacturing processes. And in order to, to do uh, what we need to do and accomplish what we need, we need to do, we have a, a, a group of employees that have a large skill set. Matter of fact, I'll just kind of explain it this way. A guy was in my office a couple weeks ago and uh, we were talking about the different plants and, and the different feedstocks and, and uh, the products that we were offering. And he, he said, to, oh, this is really is great. He says, you know, where's your biggest asset? And, and then that question, he was wanting to know location. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just happened to be, we were kind of getting up and we're going to the truck. I was going to show him a, another site. And uh, I just put my arm around him and said, that's our biggest asset. Your people my people, <laughs> you know, and, and, you know, it's kind of, as Brian was talking about sustainability, our employees, we kind of look at it the same way. You know, those people that we work with every day, um, we find value in those people and we want to make their lives sustainable. Mm -hmm. You know, we have the same commitment to our employees as we do to, to the environment. And uh, it takes a, a large skill set and we have those guys available, and uh, we, we uh, are, are blessed to have them in our employment, and they make us who we are. I mean, our, our biggest, our, our biggest uh, asset, again, is those who work for us. Mm -hmm. and, and, a, and a testimony to that is the, the founder of the company is still in our employment. The very first employee hired is still in our employment. The second employee that was hired is still in our employment. And you know, if you think about that knowledge base over eight locations, uh, folks who've been with us years and years and years, and think about that that skill set, that that knowledge base they have, um, and, and multiply that out, it's tremendous. And that allows us to do what we're able to do. And, and again, the the best thing about it is, 
we're taking that, that knowledge and that skill set and passing on to another generation mm -hmm. so they can pass it on to another generation so the company can be not only sustainable environmentally but also in our in our uh, our production yeah, building a uh, legacy so exactly. yeah exactly. so Brian are there any technologies anything revolutionary you're working on this year at sustainable green team yeah we actually uh, we have a new technology that's being released that uh, personally uh, I believe that it's one of the best beneficial if not the best um, that really is uh, being produced right now, it's humus oil. Mm -hmm. For many years and generations, we've been doing things, if I can say, wrong uh, to our environment. Uh, instead of taking advantage of the soil that's in the earth, we've been depleting it, we've been destroying it. And humus oil is a 100% organic soil enhancer that actually manufactures water in the soil. With the world and everything that's going around, you can look at the news, places like California and other places where there's drought, where there's a lack of water being produced. This, this soil or our technology, humus soil, is going to be able to fix that. It's going to be able to grow fruits, uh, vegetables, any kind of harvest in the middle of the desert. And so this technology, it's uh, taken over. It's gonna create great things. Uh, and most of all, going back to it, you know, it's gonna secure future generations, food supply. It's gonna help out our environment and communities from cities to deserts to mountains, yeah. anywhere. This yeah. product is gonna work and it's gonna cause a change. Interesting, yeah, though, I mean, that would be truly revolutionary to be able to grow food in the desert. Yeah, so. Absolutely. There you yeah, go. Now, um, and Brian, how can somebody find out more about Sustainable Green Team? Where should they go? Uh, they can go to our, to our website. Mm -hmm. uh, or just Google Sustainable Green Team, it'll pop up. Or, or mulch manufacturing, yeah. mm -hmm. mulchmfg.com. Okay. If, if I can say something uh, that I always encourage everybody to come, uh, please check out our YouTube, our YouTube page. Yeah. It's uh, SGTM, <laughs> the Sustainable Green Team. And uh, right there, you'll be able to meet more of the people like Brian was talking about, um, learn about our products and really our heart and passion behind everything we do. No, that's a good point, because I've actually been on there and it shows what you guys are actually doing. Mm -hmm. um, so with all the big equipment and everything. Yeah. So thank you so much, Brian and thank Brian you. for joining me. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.